Hi, my name is Patty, and I'm going to do a brief tutorial on how to get into an O'Reilly Safari textbook online. To start with, we're going to go to the Eastern Gateway homepage and click on the Student Portal Gateway. At that point, we're going to click on Library. We're going to search EGCC Library Resources. And here in our Gateway search page, we're going to click on A to Z database list under Other e-resources. Our database is named O'Reilly Safari, so we're going to search under O and choose O'Reilly Safari Learning Platform. At this point, it'll ask you to put in your username and your password. If you're unsure what your username and password is going to be, go ahead and click on the FAQ for instructions. This is the O'Reilly Safari homepage. It's going to ask us to select our institution. Our institution is not actually listed, so go ahead and click on Not Listed, click here. Now we're going to have to enter our academic institution email. That's your Eastern Gateway email. It's usually first initial, last name, followed by some sequence of numbers. The newest students have just a single digit. Some of the older students have the last two of their student ID, but most of you will have the last four of your student ID number. And then make sure that you complete it with at student.egcc.edu. You want to make sure you're doing the .edu. .com won't get you anywhere. Then you're going to go ahead and click Let's Go. If after you click Let's Go, it says that you're already a user, go ahead and click on this box right here, and that will take you to a sign-in box. Most of the time when you click on Let's Go, though, your next step is going to be going to your email in order to find the O'Reilly Safari Learning Platform email. That's the one that says Activation Required. Open up the email and click on the link to help finish creating your account. It'll take you to an O'Reilly Safari page where you're going to enter your password and maybe some other information before you're finished. At this point, you'll want to get to the O'Reilly Safari page. It might allow you to go in right away or it might force you to log in using your email address and the password you just created. Both of them will take you to this page. From here, you're going to want to type in the title of your book in the search bar and go ahead and hit search. It'll give you a results list that you can then scroll through to find the book that you're looking for. Before you click on the book though, I'd like to show you one trick that you might be able to use that would be helpful. Over here in the right hand corner of each work is a box that allows you to save your work to a playlist so that next time when you come back you can go directly to the book and you don't have to search for it again. You're going to click on that and hit add to new playlist. It'll make you create a new playlist. You can name that playlist anything you want. You can make it a subject. You can just put the title of the book if you want or you can put your name anything you want and then click create playlist. You can find your playlists at the upper right hand corner where the account icon is. When you click on that, you're going to find that it gives you all the different playlists that you have created. And inside each playlist are the books you've saved in that playlist. So double click on that playlist and it'll list all the books that you have. At that point, you can go ahead and double click on the book to open it up. Another thing that you can do to help save some time is you can bookmark the O'Reilly Safari page so that you don't have to go through the library every time you want to find and read your book. Go ahead to the upper right hand corner, click on the star, it turns it blue, then it asks you to name your bookmark and where you want to keep it. Once you go ahead and have done that, it should sit up on your bookmarks bar or in your bookmark list. Then all you have to do is click on it. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.